The new Xbox One, set to be released later this week, can see your penis. That's the shocking discovery made by Fast Company Design's Mark Wilson. After uploading a video analysis of the new console's features, Wilson wrote, quote, While I'd intended to post the above tech demo of the improved Kinect from Microsoft Research, I noticed alongside the intricacies of a hoodie and jeans, and there's no graceful way to say this, a dong. That's right, the Kinect system's infrared camera is now so sensitive that similar to a TSA millimeter wave body scanner, it shows a clear outline of your genitalia. Wilson also reveals his embarrassment in noticing how the system picked up the outline of his own penis during Xbox One testing at Microsoft's campus in Redmond. Taken on its own, this might be easy to dismiss, but when you consider the fact that Microsoft, maker of the Xbox, was deeply embroiled in the NSA wiretapping scandal, allowing the snooping agency backdoor access to spy on users of its services, things begin to get unsettling. The user will not be able to power on the new Xbox One without first enabling Kinect and standing in front of its camera. The system also requires that it be connected to the internet at least once every 24 hours. The device will also track your eye movements to record which ads you watch, as well as using its array of microphones to enable voice interactivity and distinguish your voice from other people in the room. So I guess we just have to trust that Microsoft won't record and pass on the audio of our conversations to the NSA, just like it did with the data of other individuals who used its Microsoft services. Reports have emerged today that Nambler, the North American Man-Boy Love Association, have put in a massive pre-order for the new Xbox One, exhausting current supply. Okay, that's a joke, but you see where I'm heading. Wilson himself notes that whereas Microsoft, aware that children could be targeted by paedophiles, have banned topics or content of a sexual nature on its gamer tags and profiles, they don't seem to be as concerned about the fact that their console has the capability to perform a rudimentary strip search of all its users. Check us out on Twitter at twitter.com slash prisonplanet. I'm Paul Joseph Watson reporting for Infowars.com.